Thursday, 4.12 p.m. At the gym, during club practice. Hitika-chan? Can you please help me with the t-shirts? Course, be right there. Tanaka studied Kyoko tending her duties as their club manager. Kyoko-senpai looks so pretty. Just looking at her makes my day. She's ignoring me, it turns me on so much. I'm standing on the same floor as Shimizu-senpai. I can die happy. He's gawking. Don't state the obvious. Even more today, don't you think? Tanaka-senpai, don't mind them. I think you're amazing. Ain't that right? Ha 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 ha. Ahinata-kun. He's gonna get a big head if you keep on doing that. Hmm. Hinata squinted his eyes and checked out Tanaka's head. His head looks fine to me. Okay, Hinata bokeh. Hinata's a living proof that talent has nothing to do with stupidity. Eh. He's just stupid, as he is. Ha 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 ha. Puffed. Can't argue. Tsuki, teach me how to be you. Eh. Why would I do that? We have enough volleyball control. Go on. What we need most is idiot control. We don't need any more savages. Maybe what we really need is more birth control. Ah, Asahi just admitted going bareback on Moya. I... I have to pray. Yeats. Tanaka leaned his side on the wall as the rest of the team moved on with their individual practices. He was sighing heavily. Can't give up on her? Yeah, you could say that. Moya took his place by Tanaka's side, wiping the sweat dripping down his chin. But you know? Um. See the thing is. I find her extremely attractive but it's not like, I like like her, you know? Like a crush? Yes, exactly. I admire and adore her a lot. Yet there isn't a single drop of romantic affection. Love works in mysterious ways, bro. Maybe you just don't love her. Simple as that. Now come on, let's practice. I'll receive your spikes. Yosh. I'm pumped. I got my fill of Kyoko energy today. Gym practice went on as expected. Nothing out of the ordinary. Thursday, 6.43 PM. Inside the club room, after club practice. The rest of the team went home. Tanaka was assigned to lock up after Shoyo and Tobio, who spent more time practicing. He was walking back to the club room just after Shoyo and Tobio left. The door was slightly opened and the light was still on. Ash. So troublesome, those freshman volleyball idiots. Tanaka pushed the door open. Chika. His mouth ran dry and words refused to form as a peculiar mark caught his eyes. Ryona shook Tanaka's thoughts. What the fuck? How long has it been there? Is that really? Tanaka crept in closer behind. Incomprehensible noises. Holy she. It is. I am so mad, I didn't notice it sooner. I want to touch it. Tanaka got so caught up in his thoughts, he completely lost track of his actions. Real time. Tanaka. Shikara turned his head. He was astonished to find Tanaka inches away. Um. Why are you standing so close behind me? Ah. Uh, yeah 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 yeah. Tanaka jumped back, frantically waving his hands to prevent unnecessary misunderstandings. It's nothing. There was a leaf in your hair. Ah ha ha. What is he talking about? I've been inside the gym the entire time. Is that so? Ha 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 yes yes. Tanaka concealed his nervousness with his shaky laughter, handed the keys over to Inishita and left in a rush. I'm leaving. You take care of the stuff. Ja. Tanaka kept running until he was out of breath. His chest feels congested. What in the name of pickled pumpkins? My heart is beating so fast. Ah. Uh, must be cause I ran recklessly. Yes. Let's settle with that. Mo, whatever. Ryonishuk's face flushed after recalling the image in his head. A small, slightly raised blemish on the skin made dark, on the back of the left earlobe. Only someone so fine could make a beauty mark so seductive. For once, it wasn't Kyoko Shimizu that had crossed his mind. It was Shikara Inishida. Ever since that night, Tanaka would constantly check Shikara out. Sometimes, he would catch himself staring, then withdraw. Sometimes, it went on for hours and hours. Days, weeks, months passed. Ryu paid him much more attention to the point where he suddenly went quiet about simping for Kyoko. Until there was none. Friday, 3.57 PM. At the gym, during practice. Tanaka. Tanaka jolted when Inishita called out to him. Ha, ha. Shikara met Tanaka's eyes. Shikara shifted his gaze which immediately flickered back to Tanaka. You know, it's been a while now. I can feel you staring at me. Ha. Sorry. Was I making you uncomfortable? It's unintentional. My bad. Ah ha 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 ha. That moment, it was. I wonder about the rest. Tanaka faced the other way, slapping his forehead, acknowledging his own ignorance. I don't get it but I hope it's not because I'm doing a poor job. Tanaka turned his head once again. You should be more confident, Shikara. You're stunning. The words that left his mouth felt like cotton candy. Tanaka wanted to cut his tongue for speaking so openly. Ah ha 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 ha. I mean. Fuck, I screwed up. 
instead of being weirded out. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. What? Did he say, thanks? A bright red tint fell evident on Shakira's glowing skin, as a faint smile shaped his thinly lined lips. So did Ryu no Soketanaka's. Monday, 5.19 a.m. The next weekday. Crap, I went too early. The idiots should be there by now. Fingers crossed. Tanaka grabs and turns the doorknob leading to the club room. Fuck. What are the odds? Shikara was half naked. He was changing into his gym clothes. Tanaka dropped his bag and walked up to him. Shikara's hind facing Tanaka. Tanaka, using his finger, trailed Shikara's beauty marks following the pattern up, behind his ear. Counting one, two, three. Shikara shuddered from the subtle touch he left. Tanaka leaned in wanting to kiss the mark on the back of Shikara's left ear. Shikara spun his head fast with push in mind. And snap. Their lips merged. Shikara body slammed himself against the locker, earning him a scratch on his back. Tanaka had to blink twice, thrice. To take in what just happened. Until he realized what he's done. Ayayayayay. Chi. Shikara. It's not what you think. I'm sorry. Ryu went down on his knees and bowed with his hands facing the ground. Hey. It's okay. It was an accident right? Shikara fiddled on his side whiskers. No matter how hard he tried, inflamed was a face he couldn't hide. Tanaka senpai. Shikara senpai. Ryu and Shikara jolted from his screeching. Eh. Tanaka senpai, why are you on your knees? I was, was looking, looking for my keys. Pen. Keys. Keys that fell with his pen. Sus. Oh heyo. T. Why would Tanaka need a pen? He doesn't even study. Spot on. I wonder. Hmm. Ah ha ha. You guys, let's just go practice. Now that they've kissed, Ryu and Shikara became more aware of the other's presence. It's not a big deal, they say. It was an accident, they say. It was only a kiss, they say. Was it? Tanaka couldn't keep his thoughts out. It has been bothering him for the rest of the day. He decided to face it head on. Shikara ah. Shikara jolted. His nerves aren't calm at all. You, jumps on Shikara as he yelped out his name. Oh, oh. You so jumpy. You hiding something? Ha. Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ha. Hey. Do you like him? No I don't. Why would I like that baldy? He he he. I got it out of Shikara. I'm a genius. Hi Aya. So it is Tanaka after all. I give up. Ever since that day. That day? How long has it been? I'm not certain myself. I just feel weird around him. Soon, I couldn't get him out of my head. That buzz cut. This morning, I confirmed it. Incomprehensible noises. You're a sucker for him. Shikara lets out a long sigh. So what's the matter? Will it be alright? What are you so worried about? Tanaka's full of spirit. He's an honest guy. I'm sure he'll understand. Ah then, I guess I'll tell him sometime. Oh and by the way, he was asking to meet you after gym practice later. Heh. That's what I came here for. Daiji-san and Shuga-san let you both lock up so take as much time as you need. Good luck Shikara. Hee hee hee. Wait a sec. You can't be serious. Shikara was fidgety the entire practice. For the day, you could say it was a good thing he wasn't up for more matches than he can handle. Just thinking about being alone with Tanaka is nerve-wracking. And at last, the time has come. Monday, 6.41 p.m. Same day, inside the club room, post-practice. Ryu. Shikara. Frankly, I don't want to apologize for this morning. You're so cruel. I think. I think I like you, Shikara. So please. You. Let me look at your beauty spots. Ha. Huh? Is that why he's been staring at me so intently all the time? It might be a lot to ask, but just this once. He, even if it's just your top. I'll be satisfied if I see them at least once. I'll imprint it in my mind so you don't have to worry. I won't ever look at you again. The thought of never being looked at, stung. Shikara felt his knees tremble. Ah. Uh, but. I don't want to force you. I understand if you feel disgusted. Call me a pervert, if you will. You moron. It's not. It's not disgusting. I'm a bit surprised. I didn't know you looked at me that way. But somehow. To be wanted is such a wonderful feeling. Are you saying yes? Fuh fine. But no touching. Humph. If you lift even one finger, I'm gonna kill you. Shikara tugged on the cloth lump in his shirt. Wakarimas. Shikara slowly lifted his shirt. Hey, did you lock the door? Hi. Huh? You better, cause if someone caught us. Shikara bit his lip and carried on with his business. It was unbearable to be stared at by Tanaka. But it was even more so for Tanaka being strip teased by such a sexy specimen. Inch by inch, his marks unfold. Each was unique. A different shade. A different size. His facade presents a handful. 
Can I take a closer look? Hands off alright? Yeah, I got that. Then it's fine. Tanaka stood up and peered at his face. He pointed a finger on Shikara's hair whirl slightly about his temple. No. Touching. I know okay. Tsk. I'm just looking. Tanaka held back the urge. He wanted to respect Shikara's boundaries. Shikara could feel the closeness of their faces. No one stared at him so hard before. Tanaka spent half an hour looking at each of Shikara's spots. On your crown. On your. Tanaka dropped his eyes on Shikara's right shoulder he's covering. His body is shaking. Are you perhaps cold? No no. I didn't know it would feel this embarrassing to be looked at. I'm nervous. I promise not to touch. You have my word. I want to see it all Chika. Please, move your hand. Shikara moved his arms out of the way. Tanaka found two more on his right shoulder. Side by side. Going down. Ah. You have one just beside your nipple. Don't say it out loud. Don't you think I've been around my body for a longer time than you have? What? They're pink. That's not where you should be looking. Hee hee hee. Tanaka's breath kept brushing on his nipple. Why are you taking so long just to look at one goddamn mole? Jeez. Calm down will you? I wanted to perfectly photograph it into my memory. Just get on with it already. When he moved on to the next one, Shikara felt relieved. He's feeling stranger by the second. Tanaka found three more on his left arm and another two on the right. All randomly positioned. Why haven't I noticed before? That's cause you're all over Shimizu, blockhead. Shikara murmurs. Hmm. Nothing. Tanaka took notice of another one on Shikara's hand. He. You have one on your ring finger. Um yet. Yeah. It's not very noticeable unless you take a closer look. It's like a speck. I have one too, look. Tanaka showed him a beauty spot just about the space in between his pinky and ring finger. Whoa. He has one too. Tanaka went on. You have so much, Chikasan. But they're pretty light colored. Ryu, what's so good about them? Beauty marks. They're blemishes. Nonsense. They ain't called beauty marks for nothing. Shikara flushed. He couldn't tell if Ryu was telling him that or he was talking in general. Either way, he felt flattered. What? So many. Come on. You already said that. Wait a sec. More spots means more beauty. That makes you extremely beautiful. That's not how it works. Tanaka ignored his remark and searched for more. When he couldn't. Can you turn around please? We're not done yet. I've only seen your front. Shikara couldn't do anything but follow as ordered. He wanted to hold his end of the bargain. Tanaka's being considerate. It's not like we're doing something wrong. So it's fine. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Calm down. Calm. Calm. Shikara, you're so slender. Like a girl. Are you telling me you've seen a girl's naked body? Does Sakako Nisan count? Oh nope. Ryunashuk's gaze traveled through Shikara's bod. Shikara, did you break your wing when you fell from heaven? His eyes locked on an evident red birthmark lining down Shikara's shoulder blade. Tanaka's urges were growing. I can't believe that just came out of your mouth. Have you seen it for yourself? Um I don't think so. It looks like a severed wing. Tanaka leans forward, making his lips graze Shikara's blade. Shikara flinched in surprise. What? What did you just? Sumai Mason. I couldn't stop myself on time. Wait. Kissing is the same as touching? Ha. Huh? You're unbelievable. It's beautiful Chikasan. I'm not buying your words. You are beautiful. Shikara could feel the blood rush to his head. He got a bit dizzy. This. You have a scratch on your back. Oh. This morning I hit myself hard on the lockers when. We kissed. He pulled the brakes before he could say it. Chika shifted in place. With Tanaka's face so close, his breath is prickling Shikara's bare skin. What more is, it was getting stuffy someplace else. You know, Tanaka. I have something to tell you as well. There isn't a tinge of doubt. Tanaka squinted his eyes as he zeroed on a red mark running down Shikara's left side. It was going lower. A large scar. It was barely visible with his shorts on. What's this? I like you. Tanaka extended his hand to lower down Shikara's bottom. Shikara turned his head and caught Tanaka's hand before he could pull it down entirely. What? Stop. Why the hell are you stripping me down you baldy? You said just the top. We shook on it. Just. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Shikara fought a tug o' war with Tanaka yet he was on the losing side. A little, cut it. Shikara was in a very uncomfortable position leaving him at a great disadvantage. Out, more. Tanaka stumbled and fell on his knees, pulling everything, down to his garment, slapping Shikara stiffly onto his face. Go. Chika. You're hard. Ryu, no, su, cat. Ta, na, kaiaa. Tuesday, 7.18 a.m. Oi Tanaka. What happened to your face? Tanaka held his left cheek with a huge band-aid plastered on. 
His bloody nose was stuffed with tissue, they looked like tampons. Whoa. Did you get into a fight with Shakara? That's nasty Tanaka. Arara. Tanaka Senpai couldn't win against Shakara Senpai. I guess that flips the charts. Don't get fooled by Shakara's slender body and oozing sex appeal. Shakara will take your place as a starting member if you keep this up. Hey shitty boy. You should have toughened up if you wanted to win. Shakara ain't going down. His punch is definitely of a man's. Wahahaha. <laughs> the tea is boiling hot today. No no. You're wrong. Shakara had nothing to do with this. He's been nothing but kind to me. Shakara's stomach churned. He wanted to cover his face in embarrassment. Kind. I showed him something disgraceful. On top of that, I hit him and left him lying in the club room. I feel so ashamed. Two things. Which one is it? One, you shut him down. I could never. Two, you tried something funny. Tanaka went silent. Called it. It's the latter. I, 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 I. I am so tempted to smack Moya in the face. Wait, why am I stopping myself? What's going on? Keep your mouth shut dumbass. Face palm. Get your asses back to practice. Let's go. Everyone dragged their feet to their positions. They still wanted more tea but captain says no. Shakara and Tanaka stood on the sides as the practice match commenced. They were sharing bashful and sly glances. Catching the other and pretending their eyes didn't meet. Say, Chikasan. Will you go out with me? Ha. Huh? The rest of the team all turned their heads to Shakara and Ishida whose face is now burning. They were left in awe. Ha ha ha, ha ha. Su, Sumimasen. Carry on. Shakara bit his lower lip, bowed and turned away, heading outside for air. He mumbled on and on about how embarrassing he's been for the past 24 hours. Ryunosuke didn't spare a moment and followed Shakara outside. Chika said. I heard you. Eh. He heard? Last night, when you said you like me. That. I can hold onto it, can't I? I thought things through, it's not gonna work out. Is that what you told yourself? How do you know? We haven't even tried yet. You like Shimizu Senpai. We're both guys Ryu. We are. But you're wrong about me liking Shimizu Senpai. I did like her but not like you. I mean. It's a different like. I like you, Chika. The please so go out with me kind of like. Ah. Did he forget he asked Kyoko to marry him? So it's not on the same level? I don't get this guy at all. Do you hate it? As I thought. You were disgusted weren't you? I already told you, I'm not. It doesn't bother me at all. And shouldn't I be the one telling you that? I slapped you on the face. With my. Sorry about. I got carried away so. If. If I'm alright with you then. Yes. Yes, I'll go out with you. Tanaka's mouth gaped, his eyes, wide open. Yahoo. Tanaka screamed at the top of his lungs from the outside, his strong voice echoed all the way inside. He, idiot keep it down. I said yes but. But. But don't say you won't look at me ever again. Ryu rushed to hug him. Tanaka only said what he said because he thought it would be the last. Then, can we do it again? Shakara tugged on his sideburns whilst trying to calm his racing heart. Yes. Meanwhile, inside the gym. Ha 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 ha. Shakara said yes. Hisashi bumped fists with Kazuhito. Nishimoya was pumped up twice more than usual. Moya, you're not gonna get more chances just cause Tanaka got a boyfriend. Asahi. You don't have to break my heart like that. Shigawara giggled when he saw Kyoko and Yachi peeking outside, taking stolen photos of Tanaka and Shakara's love confessions. Eh. Did something good happen? Oihineda. Focus your eyes on the ball. Tsukishima shook his head and walked out of the scene. Idiots. Tsuki, don't say that. Shut up, Yamaguchi. Gomen Gomen. Move those legs or you're gonna get diving drills the whole noon. Daichi sighed and a faint smile painted his lips. Ha ha ha. Good for you, Shakara and Ishida. Good for you.